You know what I miss most in quarantine? Water. But not just the water we drink or wash our hands with, which we've probably been doing a lot lately, hopefully. I mean all the water that covers 70% of the earth. The ocean. I was never allowed to go near the sea as a kid because I was such a bad swimmer, honestly still am, but I got the chance to go scuba diving almost exactly a year ago and I've just been obsessed ever since. It begins with the diving reflex. The second your face hits the water, your whole world changes. Everything turns blue as far as the eye can see. It feels like you're suspended in space and time. You become the fish out of water with 50 precious minutes of oxygen in the tank behind your back. And that's just the start. Once you descend, nothing really prepares you for what you'll see. It could be a sea turtle, an octopus, a trigger fish, animals and all sorts of crazy shapes and sizes and they're the boss of this world and you know it. It is amazing how these marine creatures have adapted to living underwater in an environment that's so different from ours and it's mind-blowing that we get to share this world with them at all. I think diving exemplifies what it means to be human like Jacques Cousteau who invented the aqualung so that we could breathe underwater, Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, the first people to ever reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench, all the free divers who challenged their body to go deeper or for longer all on a single breath. I love that scuba diving brings us so close to what is pretty much an alien universe. It lets us appreciate life forms so unlike ourselves while while still ensuring that they have the freedom to go wherever they want in the ocean. This might be a cliche, but diving has really made me more environmentally aware because there's truly so much down there that deserves our love and protection. I do think it is a blessing that we can't live in the ocean and that sea creatures are protected by the very body of water they live in. I'm sure you've seen news about coral bleaching because of rising sea temperatures because global warming. Well, now we're all at home and life has been kind of dry, but at least it means our ocean finally has some time to heal. I definitely hope to do something ocean related in future because I love it so much. Maybe a marine biologist, underwater video videographer or 3D animator who makes aquatic landscapes for virtual reality consoles. Okay, that last one is a stretch. I genuinely have no idea how to get there yet. <laughs> but either way, the ocean gives me a lot of hope, which I think we could all use a bit of right now. So thank you for giving me this chance to share a two-minute slice of that with you guys. Stay safe, just keep swimming, and see you guys. Bye!